managers versus leaders. Who win? Okay. I know most of you guys are going to say the leaders are it. They are the bum diggity. <laughs> um, absolutely not. Okay. Um, I Both are needed. I always put it plain like this. Leaders are the one who cast a vision and managers are the one who fulfills it. Okay. Take your business, for example, uh, for example. You have Walmart. Obviously, you have Sam Walton, who is the leader. And he said, okay, we'll do all this X, Y, and Z. But guess what? You got the C-suite. You got the vice president. You got the manager at the front line, workers, the distribution, blah, blah, blah. All those are managing the daily aspects of the business. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sam Walton probably doesn't know how to drive an 18-wheeler and probably doesn't care to drive an 18-wheeler. Uh, but I think it's very important that we don't try to minimize managers. Uh, not everybody's cast to be creative and and be a leader and, and uh, what can I say, um, and kind of operate out of uh, out of a mindset of strategic foresight, as I would say. And I know I just threw a big word out at you. Sorry about that, um, but. For strategic foresight, it just means to what you're doing is looking in the to the future, and you're trying to uh, glean from it based on kind of where you see patterns of life, and and uh, and kind of just. I think the best way I can describe it is you're you're on a ship, and you know you want to get to a destination, which is probably some land or some. You know, where you're on a cruise or something like that. But you have all these variables, you know, the wind, storm, rain, um, uh, unforeseen, you know, boats and things of that sort. They're coming at you. And you have to have somebody who's looking down that down at the radar and make sure they're not hitting any, any you know, ground underneath the water, anything like that. Um, but for the most part, you have a captain who said, okay, we're trying to get to this destination, but you have people, crewmen who are like, okay, captain, you know, there's a big storm coming off east, we probably should go west, blah, 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 blah or hunk it down, slow down, all these things. So that's what I'm trying to convey to you, is that don't be so caught up in, oh, I'm a leader, I'm this and that, and, and, and forget that, hey, you need somebody behind the scenes that's fulfilling that order, okay? You it's just like you know you have McDonald's you have a you you have a a, a person who owns that Mac, that Mac, that McDonald's and what's their goal to make money okay and you know if it's unless you're like my my friend Larry Thornton who is all about you know serving the community his goal is to make money while serving the community but what is his manager's goal are is to make sure that his business is making money. And he has other, he has a, a, a giving arm of his organization where he has somebody over that to make sure he's giving money uh, and to pro provide support. So I'm saying all this to say to you is that don't get so caught up in the the hype of today to say, oh, I'm a leader, I'm a leader, I'm a leader, and forget that you need a team of folks around you to make sure you accomplish what you need to accomplish. Um, one can't be, you can't have one without the other. You know, I've all seen these memes on Facebook where, you know, the leader is the one who's carrying the team, carrying the team with them and the manager's the one is telling the person what to do. Here's the thing. If you are leading any group of people, what you're going to find out is that you cannot always be in the trenches with them. Because if you don't have somebody who's looking out, somebody who's who's developed a, a strategic plan everybody in the trenches might be going the wrong way okay you understand where i'm coming from so i think society has done a a, a okay job of portraying what it is to be a leader and and kind of glamorizing it a little bit but into the detriment of a manager, okay? Because it's almost like they put leader up here and the manager's down here. And it's not necessarily the case. It's not the case, not necessarily the case. 
because a manager is a person who's kind of like, okay, well, you know, CEO said this, or board, the chairman of the board says this, or the executive vice president, blah, whatever, has said this. So I then, that person has then, has to fulfill that order and trust them enough to know that they're not going down the rabbit hole. Um, so it, no matter if you're a leader, doesn't matter, doesn't matter if you're a manager, do your part. You know, help the help the organization as a whole. I hope this video has helped you. Follow me, follow me on Get Rice Now. That's all my social media platform, G-E-T-R-I-C-E-N-O-W. Or log in on my website, RonnieOrice.com. Thank you so much. You guys have a blessed week.